let's forget about the name let's see what happens in the reaction now i'm going to give you the substrate and the reagent and you try to work out the mechanism on your own suppose i take a carbonyl compound be it any carbonyl compound and if i take a alpha bromo ester right it can be alpha iodo also and for that matter it can be alpha chloro as well so if i have taken this alpha bromo ester and i have taken a carbonyl compound along with this i have added zinc and a little amount of heat just to increase the rate of reaction and later i'll be adding water after the reaction with zinc is over now you have to reach to the final product what product are you going to get fine so start thinking what is going to happen first first of all the task is to identify the reactive thing which will initiate the reaction neutral neutral they are not going to do anything this water i'm adding in the second step what's left out is zinc that zinc is a reactive metal that's going to do something zinc does nothing but gets ionized zinc will quickly lose two electrons and these electrons have to go somewhere where in orbitals anti bonding or bonding bonding orbitals are not empty here because you can't see any plus charge so it has to go to anti bonding where is the anti bonding anti bonding of an atom which is attached to a leaving group if it goes into the anti bonding of this carbon then this carbon can lose electron and that electron can go to bromine and br minus can come out now this is not new we have been seeing this kind of things since we started studying organic since we started studying reaction mechanism since we studied sn2 mechanism fine so this electron will go into the anti bonding of this carbon this bromine will come out so the reaction will be with alpha bromo ester so those two electron are going to go into the anti bonding of this carbon so electron from this bond is going to go into bromine so bromine is going to come out as br minus zinc is going to be there as zn plus 2 and this carbon is also going to gain a negative charge because it's gaining two electron it loses one electron to bromine and it is gaining two electron so it is having an excess of one electron so because of that a negative charge on carbon here you are now what will happen next now in all the three reaction you have seen one thing one way or the other you are getting a negative charge on the carbon and by the experience of study up till now you know what the c minus does this c minus have to get rid of its negative charge there are two mechanisms by which the c minus can get rid of its negative charge either it goes and put its electron in the bonding orbital for example reaction with h plus or it goes and put its electron into the anti bonding somehow or the other it has to get rid of its electron here there is no h plus so there cannot be any reaction with h plus so this negative charge is going to be dispensed in a anti bonding orbital whose anti bonding orbital the one which is having a partial plus charge polarity who is having a partial plus charge polarity here by the way this carbon this carbon because oxygen has a del negative charge this carbon has a del positive charge because oxygen has pulled electron from these two bonds so this carbon is going to be the one that is going to be hit by this carbon all right so what will happen this negative charge is going to come and attack this carbonyl group so what are you going to get from here this is what you're going to get from here fine there's nothing new in this now if we add h plus into the system because i'm adding water in the second step so this o minus will be neutralized and finally we'll have a neutral compound i have not added h plus h2o points to be noted h plus h2o is a reagent for hydrolysis 
if I didn't add H plus H2O, hydrolysis will not occur. I have just added H2O, then only protonation will occur to this O minus and your ester will remain as it is. So you will have a alpha hydroxy ester. If I would have added H plus H2O, then this ester would have been hydrolyzed. And when this ester gets hydrolyzed, the C2H5OH will come out. This alcoholic part will come out and the acidic part will remain here. So in that case, it would have been alpha hydroxy acid. But the hydrolysis will not occur. This you have to know. Because if you have to choose the correct answer, you will not choose the one in which there is acid. You will choose the one in which there is ester. And you have to keep it in mind that this H plus H2O is the hydro hydrolyzing agent. When you don't have H plus H2O, hydrolysis will not occur. This ester will remain intact as ester. That's it. That's the reaction. You have alpha hydroxy ester. Nothing new because whatever is happening, it's all very natural. I and mean, you, you, you'll have a very much of intuitive feeling that this is the thing that should happen. And this is the things that does happen. Zinc loses electron, Br- minus comes out, negative charge develops, that negative charge attacks this carbon, this oxygen gets neutralized by abstracting proton. That's it. Fine. So these were the three trivial reactions for which you don't need to know the name, but the name of this reaction, it does have a name. And the name of this reaction is Reformatsky reaction. Fine. So if you can keep it in mind, it would be better. But if you don't, it does not matter.